The topic is confidence intervals for proportions. Uh, so let's read the definition. Definition says the interval of confidence is p hat minus z star square root of p hat 1 minus p hat divided by n and then p hat plus z star square root of p hat 1 minus p hat over n. So let's do this example. Consumer report Report published their study of bacterial contamination of chicken sold in the U.S. They purchased 525 broiler chicken from various kinds of food stores in 23 states and tested them for salmonella. They found that 15% of 525 broiler chicken tested were infected with salmonella. Our question A, are the conditions for creating a confidence interval satisfied? Here are the conditions. There is one, we need to check one, two, three, and four. Well, one, actually, it's SRS, right? The simple random sample. So that one we always, we're not sure, but we always assume it's, it's met. So we assume that when it's met, the other three we have to check. So NP hat, what is NP? We, we want to make sure it's bigger or equal than 10. N is 525, right there. And then P hat is 0 0.15, 15%. So let's use the calculator. It's supposed to be equal 78.75, which is bigger or equal than 10. Uh, now we have to check 3. 3, we need to check that n times 1 minus p hat is bigger or equal than 10. n is 525, 1 minus 0 0.15. Uh, that's just a multiplication. Use a calculator. It's supposed to get 446.25, and that's also bigger or equal than 10. Now let's check number 4. Number 4, it's obvious. We want to show that n this is the sample size, is less or equal than 10% of the sample of the size of population, and begin. So our n is 525, and that's obvious that's less or equal than 10%, because the population is all broiler chicken sold in the U.S. stores. So 10% of all broiler chicken. chickens. So that's obvious, 525 is really less than 10%. Alright, question B, construct a 95% confidence. Uh, of course, first we want to write the formula. Interval of confidence is p hat minus z star square root p hat 1 minus p hat over n, and then the other extreme of the interval is p star plus z star square root of p hat 1 minus p hat over n. Now first we need to find the z star. We're doing a 95%, so we're 95% here. So this is a minus z star, this is a z star. So 5% left, so this is 2.5%, 2.5%. So to find the minus z star, this is the same thing as inverse norm of 0 0.025, right? This is 0 0.025, that's the area. So if we use a calculator, it's supposed to get minus 1.956. Actually, it's 1.96. which means z star is 1.96 divided both by negative 1. So we know z star is 1.96. We know that, what else we know? We know that n is 525 and we know that p hat is 0 0.15. So all we do now is plug in. Interval of confidence is equal p hat, we said 0 0.15, so it's minus, z star is 1.96, p uh, hat 0 0.15, 1 minus p hat is 0 0.85, divide by n, 525. Same thing here, 0, 
0 0.15 plus 1.96, 0 0.15, 0 0.85 over 525. Now, to find the interval of confidence, all you do is use your calculator. It's supposed to be 0 0.12, 0 0.18. Now for C, explain what your confidence interval says about chickens sold in the U.S. In other words, interpretation. And just follow the interpretation here. It says we are, some percent is confident. So in our case, we are 95% confident that, and it says between P1 and P2, in our case, this is P1 and this is P2, that between 0 0.12 is just 12 percent and 0 0.18 is 18 percent and it's supposed to say of all what here the case is of all broiler chicken broiler chickens sold uh, in the U.S. food stores is so what's the description infected when someone is infected with salmonella and that's it for this example